Good morning, friends. It is 5.30 in the morning. Today is, what is today? Today is Wednesday. I have a little bit to fill you up on. Fill you up. Oh. You in on. I just reheated coffee. Before anybody asks, this is sugar-free creamer from Aldi. I do use it in my coffee, not every day, but lately I have been. That doesn't even matter because yesterday, um, last night, like evening time, John and I thought we had like bad gas from eating like Adkins stuff. Well, fast forward to 10.30 p.m. last night and he wakes up in like in excruciating pain and he, sh he goes and takes a bath because usually baths if he has gas will soothe him like a baby but um, it didn't and then he tried to fight through it for a few hours and like one he finally woke me up and was like I need to go to the hospital so he drove himself because we have Ella and it was the middle of the night and I honestly thought it was gas and so did he so he just went to the hospital and he called me at like four and he actually has appendicitis. So he'll be getting um, emergency surgery today. So, cheers to that. I'll bring you guys along, I'm so tired. I take Tylenol PM sometimes and I took some last night and I'm exhausted. I'm genuinely worried about him. I know appendicitis in the big scheme of like illness and surgeries and stuff is not a big deal, but it still freaks me out. Um, we've never, he's never had surgery. I've never had surgery while being together. I had C-section, but I don't think that counts. He's my baby. Like, I love him so much, so it freaks me out. Um, my mom is going to the hospital right now. She's on the actual board of the hospital he's in, so better send her. Ellie, say hi. Wave. You wanna wave? Okay, cool. He's actually on the hospital board of the hospital he's in, which is really good in our world right now because that makes her very important. And when very important people are in the hospital, they tend to be cared for better. I'm just being honest. That's what the deal is, guys. I'll be at the hospital. Um, Ella's, we have to keep, this is the thing. I haven't called his mom yet. I haven't called his aunt yet. I'm going to. Um, his mom works nights, so honestly, like to wake her up right now would just be cruel because there's nothing she can do, and she just needs a little sleep because I know she's gonna want to be there. His aunt as well is taking care of his uncle, who his uncle has stage four lung cancer and has been on hospice for the last nine months. So she doesn't get much sleep either. So I'm just gonna try and let them sleep for a couple more hours before I call and you know start that madness so we're trying to keep little miss as normal as possible uh, as far as like um her routine and stuff my mom's gonna take her to school and then i'll be at the hospital with john and we'll go from there if it's not one thing it's another right like and you guys when i say i'm so tired i'm so tired i'm drinking day old coffee that's how tired i am all right I'll fill you guys in as the day goes on. Did I mention it's 5.30 in the morning? <laughs> Update is, I don't know if I told you guys. I look dead. Let me put makeup on. No, I don't know. I don't know what to do. This is so weird. Um, he's going to need surgery. And he's in pain now, so they gave him a little morphine. Mom says he's high, so as long as he doesn't feel pain, I'm good. Now I'm gonna get myself together. Okay, another update, it's eight o'clock. I'm taking Ella to school. We didn't wanna mess up her morning routine by having my mom pick her up and it just would, we're trying to avoid meltdowns. I'm trying to make life as less stressful as I can for myself right now. Um, looks like John's gonna get surgery today and apparently the word is, if all goes well, he can come home tonight, which is awesome. So fingers crossed that that's what happens today. So now I need to go and call my mother-in-law and tell her what's going on, so. Hi, honey. How are you feeling? We're waiting for the surgeon to come in. He's getting some medicine under control. He's got his special socks. 
and you're just prepared for me so to wait on you hand and foot? He does. Look at those. He's got the extra, extra large ones. They know all about you, babe. Big feet, big socks. I love you. Give everybody the thumbs up that you're okay. He's all right, guys. Hey guys, it is 10 to 4. John's heading into surgery in like the next 30 minutes. They're gonna do a um, micro slap scrap of something. They don't have to cut them open, I don't think. Hopefully, so. That's that. I'm tired. How you doing, honey? We're living the life. I'll update you guys soon. I'm so tired. He's heading back. Looking so cute. Okay, let's put glasses on so I don't look like that. Hey guys, it's 5.15 p.m. John went back into the OR about 15 minutes ago. So lethargically tired, it's not even funny. Basically, John has had the best care at this hospital. If you guys have been here for a while, you know that we had a little bit of a incident with a nurse at the same hospital when Graham was here, not even a month and a half ago. So we've had excellent care with John. Um, he's back in the OR now. Okay, he's asleep. The doctor is scrubbing in and he will have a good nap and hopefully be awake in the next hour. And it looks like he may even be coming home tonight if all goes well. So I just posted a picture of him and I know you guys have been praying and inboxing me and messaging me and DMing me and texting me and calling me. And I just, the fact that there's 7,000 people surrounding my family in prayer and love and just sweet and kind messages, you have no idea what it means to me because that is extra voices for God to hear. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to get super preachy and gaudy, but at the end of the day, we believe in God and I feel like if we have that many people reaching out to him for my man, he'll be all right. So. If I'm not making any sense, I haven't slept in like 24 hours. I probably won't sleep for a few more days. And um, yeah, I'm spacing out. Oh, gotta call my mother-in-law. I'm bringing them clothes to change into. So hold on. Hey guys, uh, please excuse the way I look. I haven't slept at all. It's 7.52, John is out of surgery. He is safe, but the surgery was a little bit more complicated um, than we had expected. He had adhesions on his bowels, which had to be removed in order to even get to his appendix. So he will in fact be staying overnight and we'll know more when I get there. He's with his mom now, he's actually in recovery and um, he seems to be doing okay. So I'll feel better when I can lay eyes on him and just kiss him and just like being with him. I'm a wreck without him. And honestly, it's a little scary. So I'm glad that he's okay. The surgery went well. It just was different than it was supposed to be. So, but he's okay. So I will be taking some time. I don't know. It could be a day, could be, no, I don't know. But I'm gonna just wanted to let you guys know because so many of you have reached out to me, which I'm so grateful for. So um, I will catch you guys later. Um, I just wanna let you guys know he is okay. So thank you so much for reaching out to me. It means the world to me, and we love you, and we'll see you soon.